So it's only the day right after I did the shoot for episode 2, well, shot episode 2. And as soon as I woke up today, I was able to meet up with someone I've been talking to online who had a Jeep that he just, not him, but like his brother just crashed. So the only thing that was left behind was a stock car for his 3AU. I was able to buy it just this morning. so. All right, so here it is. You saw in the preview that I was cleaning it with gas and I just left it out here earlier. It's been, what, maybe an hour since I cleaned it with the gas. And everything seems to be working just fine. Like, you wanna see that. It's pretty, it's really loose. Look at the valve under. And this opens with the other one. I can't. Give me a sec. I'll continue this later. So just yesterday, like I said, this was sent to Manila. I actually bought this bushing here in Bulacan. But the problem was I could not find a bushing for the base plate. Here's the new bushing. Here is the base plate. And I don't know if there's an actual bushing for what maybe these two or like the inside so that it fits or if this rubber material around it is already the bushing that I have to find out myself. Alright so you guys must be wondering why I'm wearing this all of a sudden it's cuz I don't really trust how clean the inside of the car is right now usually it's fine but I have to get real up close and personal right now because I'd like to show you why. Alright, before I put the carb in and try starting the engine, look at this, the gas pedal. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's pretty far down. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or like there's no spring coil or whatever it is to bring it back up. It's not working. Let me just turn on the light of this so you guys can see. I can see, I've not seen it yet. Ah, there it is, right there. I believe there is supposed to be a coil there to push it down, I think? To keep it down like that so it stays up. I'm not sure, let's try to look. Yes, right here, they all have their they have their springs and coils spring spring coils to put them back in their place but this one is missing it you can see it right there so i think i have to look around because there may have been a spring that i missed or i might even have to get a new one <sighs> So what is happening right now is I'm taking off the cable to the handbrake because the button of the handbrake is broken and I can't seem to move it at all. Alright, so here's the handbrake. You can see I cannot remove the handbrake cable without taking this bolt out and without taking this end lock out. So, I'm just gonna unscrew it with my hand. Just remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty, almost everything. Alright, here it is again. Just gonna take it out with your hand. 
The only thing that makes this super tight is the end lock, which you put on when the belt when you're sure with your handbrake. Then unscrew this real fast. Oh shit, seems to be stuck. No, 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 no. That grease. Alright, this is off now. So is the end lock. I'm most likely gonna put it over here. So I remember that these two are together. And now I can pull this out. Push this to the side, push this through the hole. Pull the hole. Handbrake out. Now, like I said earlier, this button is fucked up and I can't press it at all. So I have to find out. Like, you can't move it at all. I have to find out how to take this out and how to fix it. Okay, so you guys must be wondering why I'm worrying over the emergency handbrake over the carb, which I can go install right now. Well, that's because I am. I don't have trust in my disc brakes or the wheel brakes, whatever you want to call it. And this is my only resort, or this is my last resort that I have to use the handbrake. Because I'm not sure what the clutch is engaged to right now. If I can't install the transmission properly, I can't tell if it's completely on neutral or if it'll be on one or what. I just don't want the car to move because I don't trust the disc brakes right now. So I'm going to be spraying WD all over this. I hope it's not like the shift stick or the top is exactly completely installed with the metal base. Like here, this looks like I can spray it and twist it off. I'm most probably going to have to spray it inside. Like I said, you did notice is the button is stuck right now and I'm pretty sure there's no spring coil that's supposed to be there. What the spring coil I think supposedly does is it supposedly pushes this, this away from the middle. That's what the spring coil is supposed to do. So I'm just going to spray WD all over this, like inside and here, trying to, so I can twist this out. And let's see what happens later on. It's okay. All right, so this is what I'm doing while I'm waiting for the WD to dry up on the handbrake. This is what you call your carburetor gasket. And you, sometimes people just use paper rather than metal. Like what this guy used, it's a kind of paper. It looks like um, could have been used from a folder. And yeah. So right now, I'm going to be making my own. I'm copying this like I'm going to be this paper for me right now is too soft for comfort already too messed up so I'm going to be looking for a folder that's much thicker and I can just copy this remake it so here it is this is what I found it's like a manila paper folder and it's exactly what I need you can buy this really easily in like um, national bookstore for about what 8 to 12 pesos just for one whole one of these so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place this on top so I could like cut this hole out just cop try to copy it as hard as I can and what I want to make sure is that I also have two layers of this just exactly like this two layers so I'm just gonna say something before I start. I can't draw 
to save my left egg. But what I have been good as as a kid is tracing my own hand. So I'm just going to trace this. Hey guys, check this out. I think I should apply to art school. Apply for a talent scholarship. Alright, so how can you tell a difference between an art student and an engineer? <laughs> this is what my dad just did. He pressed the actual paper against the carb itself. And it's the exact measurement, so... You guys can decide which one is better. I mean, look at mine. Mine's pretty amazing. I'm just saying, you know, maybe mine's more efficient, you know, I'm just saying, you know. Shipwreck in a sea of faces. There's a dreamy world up there. Dear friends in the Places carry me away from here. Travel light, let the sun eclipse you. Cause your flight is about to leave. And there's more to this brave adventure than you'd ever believe. Alright, guys, as you can see, you're able to take this out using a monkey wrench and uh I forgot what you call that. But it was really hard to take it out and earlier i was actually hammering through trying to hammer through this to open this up because the metal was actually biting into the rubber already so i found out that i could unscrew this it was just a screw type and i had to sand it down so that it wouldn't bite the metal wouldn't bite into the rubber already so here's the handle and you can see here when i press it it goes up already and see it even got stuck right now i just have to sand it a little more maybe Alright, so right now it's 6.45 p.m. and literally it took me the whole day. I got a little help even to be fixing, well, it took me the whole day to fix the gasket. Oh, Max, go away! The gaskets and the... Uh, what else have I been doing? Let's go check the car. So this is what happened to the handbrake as well. Um, there you can see all of it. I put it together just in case when I want to put it back. But I wanted my handbrake to be my last resort. That's why I worked on it today. But I pulled when I pulled the bottom off, this is supposed to be covered right here. The whole cable went with it and I can't find where it's supposed to hook to the actual um, emergency brake. Meaning, 
I won't be able to use it as a last resort. I'm going to have to stick with my disc brakes. But I tried stepping on it earlier. It sunk in. So what I need to do is I need to put some brake fluid into the brake master and I'm gonna have to buy jack so I can put the car up and take out every wheel to check every brake on every single wheel. So right now I'm gonna I'm gonna go eat dinner but I'm gonna come back. What I want to do with the gaskets is I'm gonna put the old one back in most likely in the middle of the two new ones that I made just so that I know that there's a there's one reliable gasket in there because I'm not sure if the material I'm using is good enough. So I was just about to install the gaskets till I noticed there was dirt inside my freaking manifold. So I took out the... what's that? There was another gasket, like an air manifold gasket earlier that I just took out. And right now what I'm doing is I'm taking off everything so I can unscrew the manifold from the engine and I'm gonna wash it and we'll Alright guys, here's what's happening. I was trying to take out the manifold and we were able to take out a few bolts, nuts that were connected to it. But this is what happened earlier. These specific bolts broke inside these these two. Both of them broke. They're both they're both inside. So there's like nothing I can do to take out the manifold right now. I'm most probably going to hire a welder to come here and take it out. Uh, it's all I can do today, guys. Like, I was working on it the whole day, but I seem to fail to even put on the carb because I overestimated myself and I wasn't. I didn't think think through enough that I should have taken the air manifold really early. Because I know it's important to have that clean. And I should have taken it out as soon as I took out the carb so I could clean it. But now it just gave me bigger problems. And I have to hire a welder. He has to come here. He has to take it out for me. That's all I can do today. So tomorrow, I hope the welder comes. I hope there's the welder available. I hope I can get the manifold out, clean it and put it back on tomorrow and I hope I can install the carb tomorrow and just despite that I still have the other things to fix like the brakes I really want to try engaging the clutch and the gears but we'll have to see guys that's it for this episode see yas